Kie? Whoa, what's with that face? Ow! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The, the rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! I was so worried! <laughs> I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. I hope he takes his rope with him. Valuable rope. Near the flood plain while walking home from Tunis. Oh, hey, you could go. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you getting used to your new town in school? I like it here. We get to investigate really? murders. But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> We're getting along. Enough. I'm glad to hear that. Made her cry today. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. <gasps> Yukiko. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school, then. <laughs> Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Can't be helped. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Sure, kiddo. Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko's on TV wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow! You're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? No, um... The reporter's rambling goes further and further off-subject. This is boring. I agree. Oh, I need to do the dishes. You decided to help out with the housework. Yay. And now check your status by pressing the command menu button. 
Nope. There we go. Yay! <laughs> we finally... Yes, it took us this long to have our proper um, menu. Yeah, so we're now finally done with all of the exposition. We're finally getting into the main part of the game. It only took us this long. It goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dishes. Yay! She likes me. What's in the fridge? Aw. Cook anything? Nope. Go outside. You should go back to your room and check the TV. Always the TV, huh? Okay, so status will show our actual... Um... Oh shoot. There we go. So, now that we finally have time, and not a lot of... Oh goodness. Exposition to go through, I can start explaining stuff of the game, assuming y'all haven't played the game before, although this game's been out for years. So, with these stats, um, we can raise our social links. Our social links basically being part of a very important and main core game element to this game. Um, and you can do a good number of things, depending on how these stats are, so, right? <laughs> I like how our diligence is callow. Um, but yeah, otherwise we start out really, really low. Um, and you actually can't, we can't do a lot of stuff right now because our stats are so low. So we have to do certain actions. Um, and as you can see, make specific choices in order to uh, raise our stats. Um, and it is because of this stat wheel right here that we will not be able to 100% complete the game in the first one through, unfortunately. Um, because you basically start out each playthrough with how well you've done with the last one. Um, everything else pretty much gets wiped though, especially all your characters here. Hi Yosuke! Uh, quests, I love this game because there are a bunch of side quests. 69 doesn't seem like a lot. It is. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, personas, we only have Izanagi at the moment and he's very low level. Equipment. Um, we really don't have anything to equip here yet, other than these, um, which are basically their winter school clothing. But I like the clothing that they have right now. Let me check out our skills, check out our items. Um, Alright, let's continue. Watch the Midnight Channel. Did I just hear something? It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? Fun fact, if you look at the calendar, it'll show you the, um, I think the original cover to Persona 3. In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. The image is there again. Seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. Who's that Pokémon? It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. What would happen if you touch the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on the screen? Nope. The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for the night. Oh, hey, this is familiar. This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. 
And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. It's the Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty yet holding infinite potential within itself. Special. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you are searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Yo! You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Hmm. Let's bring an end to this. Yeah, I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Mm -hmm. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke's trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Social link! Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the magician and arcana. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. 
As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this the bond with Yosuke that what Igor was talking about? You've established the Yosuke Hanamura Social League of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke will now die for you. Achie, um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y yukiko san Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. The kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No! You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the inn. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. She's there! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Um, uh, nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. You explained to Chi in detail again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? 
tried beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you. What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I think I'm gonna cry. I'll be alright. Wow, that looks like it hurts. Jeez, that stupid bear must have done it. Hey, you! We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Huh. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Look at those old flip phones. All right, don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Twice. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Hmm, this answer 
she's hard. Nana goes absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. Her and her daily night quiz shows, man. Anything to eat? Nope. Nothing to cook. We can't go up because it's raining. Ugh. Typical. We'll have more free rain here in a bit. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Was definitely Yukiko on the channel right now. Hey, did you see that? That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Let's try to contact Yukiko. Y yeah, I know. Crap, I don't know her number. Oh yeah, I can just call Chie. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decide to go to bed early tonight. 